How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is Stranga Games' Just Ignore Them. The first in a series of games. There's also, I, I believe it's My Big Sister. And now coming up very soon is Red Bow. I'm very excited about playing through the series. I had actually put up a poll on Patreon asking people which of these horror games would you like to see as a mini like four or five episode series. This is the one that won out, which is exciting because it's like this full series now that we can we can get into and explore. I'm pretty happy that people chose it. It's a good excuse to finally uh, get into it. It contains scenes of graphic and disturbing nature as well as inappropriate language. Fair warning, might as well keep that in there. All right, skip tutorial, now back to my story. I was eight years old when it happened, but that's not to say this had happened before. Just this night was different. They would normally talk to me, play with me, and sometimes sing to me. But the one thing I remember the most was their faces. We're not gonna have, we're not gonna get to see, no tease of the faces. We'll have to figure that out for ourselves. He really dives right in there. Hey, my toy robot. Hmm, it's not working. It has no batteries. This should help me sleep. The top here, I, toy robot to help you sleep? I never liked that, Teddy. It seems like hugging a nice warm Teddy rather than a cold, heartless machine would help you sleep more, but who am I to judge? It moves on its own. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't like that then. You don't want that. It's 7 p.m. Mommy said I shouldn't watch TV before I go to bed. It'll give me bad dreams. Oh, I I don't want to check the closet. Write that off. Let's never go. I can't do anything with it. With the mouse hole? There's a monster that lives in there, too. He never really comes out. Doesn't like Mommy's perfume. Under the bed? Do you have monsters everywhere? Did you just pick up your bed for a hot second there? Okay, nice and snug. Mommy, can you please turn off the lights? I don't want, I don't want that. Okay, my special little guy, are you ready for bed? Yes, mommy. Okay, honey, good night. Remember, if you see a monster, just ignore it. I know, mom. Good boy. I love you. Terrible advice. Fight back. I love you too, mommy. I don't like that the setup of this game is being left alone in the dark after just openly discussing monsters. Huh? I didn't hear nothing, kid. I can't sleep. One thing I should point out is that I am actually playing the remake. The developer is just kind of revisiting the title, cleaning up some th certain things. When you open it up in the the game file on Steam, it, tell, it asks you which one you want to play. Apparently a few things have been cleaned up, a few tiny character changes, but like the story is largely the same. But I think it's been retrofitted to fit in with this larger series that now exists and that's that's primarily why that is a thing the drawer there's a number scratched on in the drawer 840 but it's actually just locked i can't i can't check the closet at all i kind of avoided checking it before because i thought it would be too spooky oh i'm not sure if there was supposed to be sound there i didn't really hear anything it just kind of, i just kind of saw it switch on Hello? I see something. Use your words more clear. It's it's a face. Mom. <laughs> Should I switch off the TV? Yeah. Where's the power button? Ooh, I think there are slight deviations in the story that you can take. They largely come back. To, to meet in the middle again so they can lead into sequels and things like that or, or help expand the larger lore. But yeah, there's there's little things like that that I'm, I'm curious how they affect the larger game. Okay, there we go. Now I can, now I definitely can't sleep. Just saw a goddamn face in the TV. Hmm. Why didn't mom hear me? The alarm clock, 7.30. It's been no time at all, man. You're really... You're, you're getting overly anxious about all this. You've hardly even tried to sleep just yet. You know, give it a good hour or more before you, you, you phone it in like this. Can't sleep just yet. I bet this has something to do with you, creepy Teddy. Why did Uncle give you to me? You're pretty creepy. Does he have something to say about that? He's going to talk back to you a little bit. 
Let you know what's up. Ooh. Huh? What was that noise? Remember what mom said. Just ignore them. Yeah, that's usually when you're like in your covers, you can just pull it over and hide. You're already up and exploring anyways, might as well go check it out. Like mom said, just ignore them. Eh, maybe just a small peek. Huh? Oh, okay, you got snatched up. Oh, dead. I see. Turns out you can just die. So, seven. We're back to seven o'clock then. That reset the time a little bit. Okay, yeah, so it, it did reload things a little bit. I guess going and investigating the closet was a bad choice. And just climb back into bed. Still can't sleep. I want to talk to the little teddy again. Then we'll get that door to open up. I don't like the, like, five-second delays that happen between certain texts and, and actions happening and things like that. It really feels like I don't have a lot of control over the game. Yeah, let's just bail on this. The closet opened up on us. That's enough of all that. We're... We don't have it in us. Can I just send the robot in there? Aw, oh, come on. I thought that was a good idea. Get him to, like, march in there for us. Test the waters a little bit. Let us know what's actually out there. Can't go to sleep. Can't interact with the TV. Can't interact with the, the toys or the mouse hole or the, the vent or the, the anything. Oh... Is 840? I, I thought it would be like a combination or something that I had to keep in mind. Am I trying to waste or run out an, an additional hour here? I've never liked this, Teddy. Moves on its own. Oh, right. I forgot right-clicking his things as well. I should really pack these. Oh, <gasps> my spaceship. I thought I lost you. Am I going to take the spaceship? I thought you seemed all amped up about it. I thought maybe we could take it. It's a mouse hole. I haven't seen any mice, though. Mom hired pest control to get rid of them. It's a vent. It's up up too high. I can't reach it. Maybe I can use the stepladder? Where you got that at? Nothing special about it except for the scratching in it. My alarm clock. I like the green glow. It helps me sleep. Apparently not tonight. I love watching my favorite show. Blue Static. It's my bouncy castle. Uh, I'm, I mean my bed. I should probably go to bed before Mom sees me. Nothing special about it. Can't sleep still. Still the same time. A monster that lives in there. Mom said it's not real. But I've seen it. Doesn't like lights. Oh. Well, we know that there's a light switch, like, right around here, don't we? Oh, it doesn't seem like I actually can control it for whatever reason. I keep getting stuck on things, so I guess I'm not going to turn off the TV? Maybe I should leave it on. I could use the light in here. Maybe that'll kind of cast a light on the, the closet in some way, make things a little safer for me. I, I turned it off like three times. And I just die at the closet every time. I bet something creepy, creepy ass teddy bear. <laughs> Nothing changes there. It's as terrible as, as ever. I'm keeping my eye on that closet, though. So now can I actually close the closet properly? Since I have a little bit of a light to, to help me along the way. Just close the door, Mark, and find Mom. Don't look inside. Don't look inside. Ah, so you have to leave the TV on for that. So at this point, hopefully I can just bail. Things are getting too spooky. I was only eight back then. I had no idea what I was in for. Nothing could prepare me for what happened that night. It's a good thing we locked up. I was on blood everywhere. Ah, I hate it when she locks the door. Need to find her spare key. Ooh, probably in here. Seems like it's been conveniently labeled for us. I remember when Mom got this picture from the art museum. I remember meeting that nice girl. What was her name? I think her name was Eve or something. Yeah, that sounds like a real person's name. Hmm, you know, I've never really looked in here. Really? Ever? It's probably where you keep a key then. What's this? A screwdriver? Mom would never let me play with this. The most dangerous tool there is. Until now. <laughs> Nothing to stop us now. The linen closet. It's the closet for our bed sheets. There's a breathing noise coming from inside. A nope. No thanks. The clock's broken. It's stuck on 3 o'clock. I think 3 o'clock is like the witching hour. Can't do anything with it. 
picture of me and mom. It's my first photo. That's why mommy calls. That's what mommy calls it anyway. It's a small tear in the picture. I better be careful with it. <laughs> Don't want to just go stumbling and rip the whole thing down. I see nothing special about it. Just a bunch of boring books. Ah, oh, expand your horizons, Mark. I don't need to go. Yeah, but let's bust it open anyways. Not a real option. Can't, can't be done. I see nothing special about it. It's the phone. I'm not allowed to use it unless there's an emergency. There's monsters in the house. We can probably make a small exception. I don't need that. I beg to differ. I feel like it would be a good choice. Mom's office? I hadn't tried that. There's a possibility that this one is unlocked. Locked. Oh, poop. Wait. There's a number scratched under the doorknob. 820. So we have 840 and 820 at this point. I better check the linen closet. Maybe I should. Huh? There's another monster tucked away. Them coming out and grabbing you is very slow. There's very little, like, uh, audio to go along with it or anything like that. It's just very, very quick in how it comes together. I'm, I'm curious to see how, like, the tension and story and things are built up in this game. Because right now it's not very jump scary based or anything like that. So I'm curious to see if it builds it up in other ways. That's the answering machine. I should check it for any messages. A few weird ambient noises. A weird face over the microwave a TV remote that is really wigging out it's got a it's either sparkling or it's just got a lot of flashy lights on it more so than the average remote huh hey I could use the batteries out of the remote I don't think mom would care anyway she never watches TV bit of a double negative in the sentence there I ignored it <laughs> I hated the TV in my bedroom you have to turn it on and off to put the power button how did it turn on earlier? Did mom turn it on to scare me? Ooh, that would be a pretty good prank. Can't do anything. It's the TV that nobody watches. What a waste. Oh, what's the exclamation mark? Mom's boring books. Let's see what we have here. It's just a bunch of boring bo Boring boo. <laughs> Very spooky all of a sudden. Wait, what's this? There was one book that caught my eye. It was an old beat-up journal full of blank pages, except one. Safe code? In the full picture. So there's something torn away from the, the picture we saw in the other room there, perhaps? That seems uh, like what's going on at the very least. Hey, someone's left a message. It's mom. Why did mom call? She was still in the house. Wasn't she? Hey, honey. I'm just out grocery shopping. I found your game player in the linen closet upstairs. I thought I'd tell you before I forget it. I'll be home soon. I love you. Oh, cool. My game player. That's weird. Seems like maybe it didn't actually come from her and it's just a way to lead us up to the closet with the monster in it. This message was left about two minutes ago. Why would mom be out shopping this late? There was a strange buzzing sound in the background of the message. I'll have to step into, like, the other room where the linen closet is and see if there's, like, a weird buzzing message. It's full of dust. We don't use it anymore. Well, since Dad went missing... Oh, he's missing? He didn't just, like, leave? But I know he's still here, somewhere, between the walls. That's terrifying, man. Thanks, Mom. Thanks? Doesn't sound like a real thank you. I wouldn't be thankful. <laughs> just a drawer... Nothing in here except the phone book. Uh, bloody looking note on like the, the refrigerator there. It's a note from mom. Hi, honey. Make sure you're up early for school. Remember your alarm clock is 10 minutes fast. I'll see you in the morning. Love, mom. So if 8.20 and 8.40 are like times, which I'm not sure if that's the case just yet, I gotta keep in mind that the clock is fast. Jeez, mom, I'm not a baby anymore. You're like eight years old. You're pretty young. Feel like a snack. You gonna take anything? Maybe there's something in here. You just get sucked through the entire microwave. I don't even know what to make of that. Did it, did hands even reach out and grab me, or did he just climb in there all on his own accord? 
What a way to go. Trash can? What's this? It's one of mom's lavender plants. It's the trash. Yuck. Oh, you took the plant. Okay, lavender scent. Oh, because the one thing hates the smell of her perfume. I feel like that's probably what that's going to end up being for. Smatterings on the window. Dripping too. Maybe I should stay inside for now. Yeah, let's 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 try it at least. What could go wrong? Ah, is re re gooped up the window. Didn't make any sort of immediate move on us there. I'm not allowed in this drawer. It's where mom keeps the gun. Well, maybe just a peek. Hey, it's not there. Did mom get rid of it? What's in here? Ah, nothing. Jesus. Okay, well, I got to check the rest of these, too. Nothing interesting in here. I Okay, I guess if he tells me there's nothing, I don't need to do the follow-up click to, to confirm it. Seems to be honest. All right, I think we go back to the main hall, then. Start poking around some of what we got going on out here. Mostly, I'm curious about this one. The small tear, be careful. I don't think there's anything I can do with that. I'm, I'm curious if any of these rooms have become unlocked in the time since. Save. I'm going to chuck down a quick save for the first time. I have a feeling that this will not have changed. You can hear something inside. It's still going to get you. That's, that's a pretty good trick. I fell for it. Head over heels. They, they really got me with that one. I go back to my room and try try and apply this to like the vent, maybe? Hmm. Didn't work quite how I thought it would. 820. So that is 10 minutes fast. I feel like I heard something clacking around there. Number scratch under the doorknob, 820. It's 10 minutes fast. So I, I need I need 10 more minutes to go by. I need to find specifically a way something to interact with because i'm pretty sure every time you like interact with specific things it ha it makes a certain amount of time pass so i need to find whatever the next thing is to make 10 more minutes go by when i walked back out in this room i feel like i heard a, a, a latch click or something no it's i'm crazy kitchen drawer under the microwave i had missed that before what's inside here a stepladder i could use it to reach the cupboards but i doubt there would be anything i need in there Ah, oh, we'll be the judge of that. That's to get up to these? No, there was somewhere else in the house. They, like, very specifically said a stepladder would be needed. A stepladder to get to the vent? Doesn't like mommy's perfume. It's up too high, I can't reach it. Maybe I could use the stepladder. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to figure out how to, like, apply it. Oh, to the wall, to the wall. Okay. And... Then, at that point, stick the lavender up there? Did the stepladder help with anything? Oh, I think I just placed the lavender in the mouse hole on accident, trying to use the stepladder. That smells nice. The vent does, too. So does that mean we, like, we totally have chased that monster out, then? Are we slowly, like, are we home alone these monsters? The batteries fit. Okay, yeah, I want to have like a robot sentry that I could send out. Send him into the closet or, or some such thing. <laughs> Maybe send him at this closet. That seems like a, a, a smart guy move. I'm trying to think. 8.30. Okay, 10 minutes fast, so I should be able to go to here now. It's locked. No. Huh? It's unlocked. Yes, figured that one out. It was a simple little workaround puzzle there. Why lights are on? Did mom come in here? I don't think English might be the dev's first language, so there's kind of little janky bits here and there. I can't do anything with it. Uh, it's mom's computer. It's this, mom's writing a book? Reborn without a body. What does that mean? Uh, you know, sometimes when you reach a certain age, you just start to reconsider the metaphysical world and need to have some larger thoughts than yourself to cope with death and you start thinking about things like that either that or she was re uh possessed by demons or aliens or some such thing there's nothing here nothing nothing in this trash can the other one had the lavender in it i thought it would be helpful again a photo frame three terrifying oh is that what he was talking about the f oh the um, safe code so that's like the first of probably a series of photos Mom's old clock, but it doesn't work. 
You guys need better clock maintenance in this house. I can hear something inside. Maybe I should... Yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case, seeing as there's big blood pouring out from under it already. So somehow not the first child to be eaten within this closet today. But I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, it's worth a shot. This drawer was 840. So if this is now... I need this to be up to 850 for this drawer to be anything. Nothing really happened in that room. Oh, but I died. I probably have to re-interact with things then for time to actually progress. I went back, clicked around on everything. Now, no, didn't, didn't advance time. Do you know what I didn't do, but that should have made uh, immediate sense? The vent is like the only thing in all of this that clearly would need a screwdriver. That should have come to mind instantly. Okay, that's the first thing that's really truly creeped me out in this game. That's just terrible. I don't, I don't like that shit at all. There's a small slot in the wall. A number's scratched underneath it. 9-10. So I have to come back up to here at the wee hours of the night? It's so specific and strange, you know? I usually love taking baths. That water does not look inviting. But that's your fault for leaving it all night. It's probably ice cold at this point. Who does that? You monster of a child. <laughs> Wasting good water. I know mom's key is here somewhere. Ah, I found it. That was pretty easy. Surprised a monster didn't come out and grab ya. <laughs> hmm, should I go or just hold it? Yeah, give it a quick go. You only get eaten a little bit. <laughs> yeah, seeing as the microwave got us before, I kind of expected that would be the case. I don't really know why random things around the house are eating us, but it just it just made sense somehow. It's just a toilet. That's what they want you to think. It's definitely not. It's much more to it than that. I have been so completely unable to find out what to do with the robot. I've clicked around on absolutely every possible thing. This this is like the only thing that it doesn't say that won't do anything. Like everything else it tells me no. No, you can't. You can't. The linen closet, it doesn't, but no matter how many times I click, see now I just accidentally clicked it without the robot in hand. I can't actually do that, so I, I can't tell if that's a glitch. And I don't know if the glitch is that not letting me ro use the robot is a glitch, or not coming up with this usual dialogue saying, no, you can't right now, is, is the glitch. I, I'm lost. Spare key. It's going to be horrible in here, isn't it? Mom? Mom, are you in there? Probably should have checked the room first to see if it was time for the drawer. Mom? Mom? Mom! Maybe she's just asleep? Mom, why are you bleeding? Please, Mom, please be okay. Please. Mom! There she was. Laying in a pool of her warm, shiny blood. I should have seen it coming. It was bound to happen, but I couldn't stop it. I, I wasn't fast enough. And now she's dead. Wasn't fast enough feels like a trope that usually is tied to characters who are known for being runners or work a job where you have to be very timely or a job that keeps you late at work or you're like a stunt driver or something you know and it's just this little eight, ki eight year old kid it's kind of like i don't really know if you could have been faster man the toilet ate you a minute ago there's kind of forces going on here that i think might be beyond <laughs> beyond your capabilities the only family i ever had dead where are you Wrote off your dad, hey? Just living in the walls. Never to be seen again. Doesn't even count. Wiped him out. Not a part of the family anymore. Dad. Dead? Dad. <laughs> One of the two. Thanks for the coffee, Mary. And now now we're playing out into like this character's adulthood, I guess. We're kinda we're getting to see a little bit more of that. So I'm guessing I might have missed the opportunity to interact with a few very specific things back at the house. Uh, that, that slot in the wall, the drawer, 
Maybe I could have spent more time around the house and, and still investigated those. A jump ahead in time now, b being in a, in a diner? Thanks for the coffee, Mary. Don't mention it. We usually don't open till five anyway. I'm sorry for coming in so early. I just couldn't sleep. Again? And what's on your mind, hun? Just stuff. It's not important. Pfft. I'm sure it isn't, Mark. But... It may help you sleep if you do want to talk about it. Well, I don't know. Look, Mark, you've been in here every day for three weeks now. You know you can talk to me about anything. Yeah, I know. It's just something about my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you to... It, it's fine, Mary. Well, it's up to you. I'm here if you want to talk. Let's talk about it. No, it's okay, Mary. I could have sworn I clicked yes. Maybe it was no, no matter what. I really need to get this off my chest. Yeah, oh, okay, yes. I keep thinking about the night I found her. You found her? Yes. Yeah, see, I lied to you the other day. She never walked out on me. She, she was murdered. Oh my gosh, Mark, I'm so sorry to hear that. I shouldn't have said it. It's fine, Mary, really. I just don't know what to say. But there's no reason why I can't sleep. It's not? No, since that night, something's been following me. Someone's following you? Like a stalker? No, something has been. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be really interested in me. Do you know what it is? No, but I think I know its name. It has a name? Bob. It's the least scary name around. Look, Mark, I think from all the emotional stress from your mother, you're seeing hallucinations. I didn't think you'd believe me, Mark. I mean, Molly, <laughs> whatever your name is. I do, Mark, but I do believe you need to get some rest. I'm going to start opening up now. Take care, Mark. You too, Mary. Maybe you shouldn't have... Wear a K and Y on the keyboard. They're a ways away from each other, but still, maybe you should have made their name 75% the same. A little too easy to get tripped up writing out the dialogue. Where do I go now? I'm running out of places to go. They'll always follow me, unless I find some answers. I just hope she's safe. Please. Why do they keep dying? Who's they? Who's... Who are pe other people who are dying? Oh, God. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that answers that very promptly. Goddamn, dude. I have to keep going. I can't go back now. I've been here for far too long. And I've met too many people. I can't keep putting their lives in danger. No matter where I go, they'll follow me. Just ignore them, dude. I see no hope for me. I just hope she's all right. Mary? No, please. Don't let this happen again. I hope you guys are into it. It's a little bit slow. Uh, I wish there was more audio design going on in the game right now. There's not a lot like setting the, the mood. <laughs> the creepy laughing in the vents. That was the worst part. So I, sh I should be grateful, but I'd like to see more of that. I'd like to, I hope the game escalates a little bit more. Curious to hear what you guys think. Thank you again to the patrons who voted for this one, and I'll see you guys again soon.